The status of black citizenship often exists in tensions with whiteness, racism, and racial capitalization. On October 16, 1963, the author James Baldwin delivered to a group of teachers a speech originally entitled The Negro Child, His Self-Image. He spoke in bold, unsparing terms about the soaring stories of America, the country's brutal reality, and the weight of those contradictions upon the mind of black children. Baldwin says, American history is longer, larger, more various, more beautiful, and more terrible than anything anyone has ever said about it. On the one hand, a black child in America is born in the shadows of the stars and stripes and is assured it represents a nation which has never lost a war. The black child pledges allegiance to the flag which guarantees liberty and justice for all. They are part of a country in which anyone can become president, but on the other hand, they are also assured by their country that they have never contributed anything to civilization, that their past is nothing more than a record of humiliations gladly endured. The black child, Baldwin says, will gradually come to discover the shape of their own oppression, looking at the society which has produced them, looking at the standards of that society which are not honored by anyone, looking at your churches and the government and politicians, understand that this structure is operated for someone else's benefit, not theirs.